exciting discussions here at GSR 17 in Nassau, Bahamas, and we continue those today with Bokar Barr, who chaired the Chief Regulatory Officers Meeting recently. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you very much for the invitation. Now, Mr. Barr, you have played a big role in this year's GSR. On day one, chairing that meeting with all of those industry executives, tell us a little bit about the, some of the ideas that came out of that meeting. Well, number one, what is important to understand is that the uh, CRO group is a group for the uh, industry private sector, and it's a truly multi-stakeholder platform, telecom operators, uh, technology providers, internet companies. And the idea of this platform and the discussion that we had is about how private sector can work better with the government, policy makers and regulators. In terms of uh, substance, we have spoken about the key challenges of the industry that we are facing today. First one is digital services. How can we be inclusive with the other industries, healthcare, it could be agriculture, it could be uh, education. That's the first point. Second part of the discussion was about uh, data regulation because we are heading into a data-driven economy and cross-border uh, regulation are needed so we have addressed also these challenges. Item number three in the agenda was taxation. Uh, how can we have a dialogue with the regulators and policy makers, government, to make sure that we don't have heavy taxes that will uh, not incentivize investment? And number four, spectrum, because we are entering into a 5G world and we need to have much more spectrum. So these are the debate that we have conducted among ourselves on the first day. Now we've heard it in the pre-discussions on day one time and time again here at GSR how important the private sector involvement is. Talk about how meetings like the CRO meeting yesterday and just GSR in general, this type of symposium, the, how key that is in making that happen. It's very important because the GSR as it says is the global symposium for regulators. So so that's an opportunity for the private sector in one place and this year we are very fortunate to have it happening in Bahamas so it's a dream for us but uh, it's uh, important to have in one single gathering most of the leaders worldwide decision makers regulators gathering together and we take this opportunity because we have the momentum they are committed we can be heard under one uh, rooftop, which is uh, the GSR. So we take this opportunity to come up with a consensus among private sector that we will put forward for consideration to the regulators. So it's a, one of the most important meetings for us. And what, it, what was the key takeaway from all of this? I know you had several important discussions, lots of important topics came up, but what is the key takeaway from GSR 17? The key takeaway is we have to cooperate and we have to be completely engaged, not only through talks, but we have to be engaged in that cooperation and to make sure for the future and the next generation that we will remain connected and we will have that broadband connectivity. We are witnessing a number of application development. Many things are happening in the industry, but none of these things are going to happen if there is no connectivity and reliable, resilient, ubiquitous broadband connectivity. So we have to make sure the people providing such connectivity will survive and will have a sustainable business model. Okay, so you've had the discussions, you've had the meetings, the sessions are going on. What happens now after you leave the Bahamas and GSR is over? Oh, we will keep uh, communicating together with those regulators and government through the ITU platform or directly. And Bahamas is one step. We have other steps. Telecom in Korea in September. We have WTDC in Argentina. So. We keep having that dialogue. It's important for us when we advocate for those challenges to come up with some best practices, benchmark to be able to demonstrate to our regulators and policy makers that the digital development cannot happen without this partnership. And what is the biggest challenge that you all are facing? The biggest challenge that we have today is the uh, building a level playing field mm -hmm. because the industry is moving forward, we have new players coming, and we have to make sure that regulations are not lacking behind too much with the technologies. And uh, 
level playing field has to be created so we have a fair level of competition in the private sector. Well, it seems that you all are heading in the right direction. You've had all of these meetings. You've been very busy over the past few days. Hopefully, you get a chance to experience some of the sun sand and see outside of the hotel. What are your plans while in the Bahamas? It's a promise. Uh, at least I will go for swimming before leaving uh, Nassau. Okay, thanks so much, Mr. Thank Bill you very Bill much for, for the hospitality. Enjoy pleasure. the rest of the conference. Thank you.